Yeah, it's a term we use to uh, define that sample flasks, when they arrive on farm, will have a cap already on. So th that is a difference to our South Island customers who have traditionally not had this in the past. And the reason why we're doing it is to improve the milk samples right throughout our supply chain. So although we take best endeavours to, to cover empty flasks by the time it leaves our facility to the time it gets on farm, we can't control that whole process and the flasks are open to foreign matter contamination either through transit or in the milk shed you've got flying dust and grit and things around it. So the best way to do that is to make sure the flask is capped as it arrives on the farm. So the only real impact on farm is a slightly different technique when changing flasks between samples. The milk flow is finished now from the cow, we're just, just about there. I'm releasing the vacuum, new flask into the carry tray. So why now? We've introduced flask capping in the North Island from the start of the 1920 season and it's now coinciding with the commissioning of our new state-of-the-art wash line which we've commissioned in Christchurch in early March 2020. So with that comes the ability to use uh, new wash technology and automated capping facility and so we're now at a point of readiness where we can roll out this philosophy to our South Island customers. Although there might be some reluctance, after a period of time, it's like an overwhelming feedback we've had that this is actually a good change. On farm, in shed, there's less clutter, you don't have to worry about cat bags, everything is arriving tidy, you can have full confidence in the results, and ultimately, we want to make sure the results are as best as they can possibly be to help you make better decisions on farm. At LAC, we're all about continually driving benefits to help decision making on farm and to help you, our customer.